Hey guys, Brendan I'm Millimeter USA here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make one of our absolute favorite holsters, the Safari Land ALS, seen here. Even more ergonomic and just flat out more user friendly for the end user of a 1911 style Safari Land ALS holster, like this one seen here. Okay, so this is my lefty holster, which is what this Les Bear Hemi 572 is normally sitting in. The holster that we're going to be working on today is this holster seen here. Okay. So this is a brand new Safari Land holster and you can see the difference here. There is this unneeded piece of material right here to protect your locking mechanism right here on the holster stock when it comes to you. So we're going to be removing basically this material right here and this material right here to be able to access the ALS locking mechanism a little more easily, okay? So let's do that. This is just a quick little tip, quick little change that we recommend doing to the ALS Safari Land holster for a 1911. If you guys are interested, you can pick up this Safari Land holster for about $35, $30 on Amazon via the link below. If you guys shop and use that link, it'll directly support our channel as it is an affiliate link. Just so you guys know. Thanks very much for your support and continuing to watch our channel. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much. But anyway, let's get a move on here and uh, make the change to this holster. Okay, so to make things a little bit easier, I've got a Sharpie here. Metallic Sharpie and bronze. So I'm going to use this to mark up where exactly I'm going to make the cut on this holster. So looking at it here, we have our leather material right here to protect the internal part of the holster as to like scratching your 1911 or whatnot. And I'm basically going to make a mark right here and I'm going to bring it across to let me know I don't want to go any further down than right there. Okay? Thereabouts anyway. So that's one side that we're going to make the cut on. And then over here on this side, I definitely want to protect, if possible, slightly uh, the rear sight, especially if you have an adjustable rear sight like on this Last Bear Hemi 572, okay? So that's why I've made the cut the way I did up here. So it's actually slightly protecting the rear sight on one side, where it looks like that on the other side. So we're going to try to make a similar cut on this holster here. Okay, so let's see here. I'm just going to make the cut, I think, right about there. But yeah, so we're just going to remove this internal piece right here, the guard, so that you can activate your unlock right here a little bit easier. And what we're going to be using to make the cut is a Dremel tool. Specifically, I've got right here the Dremel 4000, and I'm going to use this metallic saw blade style right here. You can also use this to um, sand down some of the edges after the fact if you don't have sandpaper available immediately to be able to use. To be able to make it look a little bit cleaner, the end product. So I'm going to hook it up now. It's attachment for the Dremel. Now we're ready to use it. I'm going to zoom in on this for you guys. I'm going to put this to about 10. Let's start cutting. Okay, so that's one side. Now let's work our way to this side. There we go. So again, we're just removing this small piece right here that acts as kind of a uh, unnecessary guard in our opinion as far as protecting the ALS locking mechanism. Most people in my opinion would have an issue with this. If you have longer thumbs and stuff you may you know not see this as an issue but most people in our opinion will probably want to get rid of this little piece here. And then from here if, again you don't have sandpaper at your Mia disposal you can just use this right here put it down to five speed and just, you know, try to make it look a little bit nicer here. Remove some of the harsh edges here so you don't cut yourself on your Safari Land holster.
Anyway, I'm going to finish this off now with a little bit of sandpaper and show you guys the end product. Alright guys, and to finish this off, let's take some 3000 grit sandpaper, wet dry. This stuff is uh, great for, you know, finishing off projects like this in my opinion. And again, we're just going to, you know, make sure there's no rough edges here. Try to make it a little bit smoother. It doesn't have to look totally professional, you guys. But, you know, I just suggest removing any rough corners. Let's just say that so you seriously do not cut yourself because that would really suck. And then again, we'll finish off this side here that I haven't touched up yet at all. See how rough it looks right now. All right, guys, and this little project here is done to this right-hand holster for a 1911. See how this thing fits now with it in it. There we go. And then that is how that looks now on this side. Again, it just makes it a little bit easier to activate that mechanism to be able to pull that 1911 out of the holster. Really a simple fix and a great quality holster here, the Safariland ALS. I really couldn't recommend the Safariland ALS holster any more than we already have in the past. It is just a total go-to. And this right hand specific holster right here is going to be my brother's holster for his 1911 I recently gave him for his birthday. So now he has a good quality holster to go along with that. 1911 I gave him. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, this was a quick little mod that we recommend you do to your 1911 Safariland holsters. The other modification that we may make to these in the future is putting the additional little tab here for the ALS mechanism to make it larger and easier to access than it already is. But I personally just really like it how it is already. So I think it probably will stay this way. Otherwise, we might add that little attachment that's like $30 or whatever it is, $15. Anyway, you guys, again, thank you very much for watching. Your support uh, during this time of us being demonetized has been much appreciated. Um, if you guys would like to support our channel, you can do so on Patreon or send us donations, aka tips, on PayPal. Um, all your support is seriously appreciated. You guys have a great day, and stay safe out there.